Okay, so I've been looking at this Supreme Undercover Collection that we're gonna have coming out this Thursday, and I have some opinions on it, and I'm gonna be sharing my opinions on each item. It's not gonna be like a whole drop list review. I'm not gonna really go through each item and say, you know, like my estimated resale. Like I may give that. I'm not gonna give like a really in-depth opinion like I would in a drop list video. So this video is just simply to give my opinions on this undercover collab with Supreme and Public Enemy. And you know, I feel like it's a decent collaboration, and I'm gonna explain everything I know about it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to, you can subscribe, drop a like this video you can do any of that it'll all be appreciated as I do videos just like this every single week but anyways Let's get started. Okay, so the first item I do want to go over is the Supreme Undercover Public Enemy Tape Scene Parka. Now, this item will definitely be more expensive, and it's pretty easy to notice the influences on all these. So, Public Enemy is a rap group, so, and one of their albums was called Fear of a Black Planet. Now, with that being said, you know, you have a bunch of other stuff that you're going to see heavy influence of that on, which I'll get into in this video. But on Tape Scene Parka, you know, the whole space theme, and you guys may be able to see, you know, you have, like, the hit point, or, like, the markers, or, like, the targets on, like, the planet and stuff like that that is obviously undercover you know the whole theme there in that sense i'm again i'm not too familiar with undercover but i sort of get the idea of it you know with seeing other items i'll explain later in the video you guys will be able to sort of make out the image i'm getting but on the front you know just the whole space theme public enemy in the corner right there in red nothing too crazy about this however on the back it does say that, you know pretty clearly it just says like fear of a black planet and that says you know public enemy and then undercover and all that stuff in the back it says there but the fear of a black planet right there is one of the albums that public enemy came out with or it's probably mixtape I would say more or less than an album but you know I saw this and I was like oh okay there's a clear influence of everyone on here and I sort of like that you know everyone's being included on this item and I feel like they actually did a really good job at designing this compared to the Supreme NBA collection that feels more like a weak design but this is a good item it'll definitely be more on the expensive side but not a bad item I'd say and you know it's a sort of an item I don't know if I'd cop this one because I'm not necessarily a guy that can wear like tape scene parkas and stuff like that but I don't know it would be sort of a cool item to have I'll see let's move on Okay, so next up, we do have the work jacket with the woven patch. Now, this item, I don't, again, this doesn't necessarily fit my theme. And, you know, looking at the sort of the Instagram reviews from, like, polls, I know that isn't necessarily the most official thing to look at, but a lot of people really don't like this collaboration. Or maybe, you know, instead of a lot of people liking a lot of items, there's more people that like very few items, and there's a lot of people that just dislike this altogether. But the woven patch, I feel like it's sort of cool. On the front, it does just say fight the power on the front, you know, the whole, you guys can see, it does say public enemy, and that whole, like, fight the power sort of thing, the hit marker, all that, that is sort of like the undercover theme there, you know, fight the higher power, you know, supremacy and all this stuff, like, fight supremacy and all this, that's sort of like the undercover theme, and then you guys see just public enemy right there, and on the back, it's a clear undercover theme, and just says blow your mind right there, and, you know, again, you have the whole thing, sort of similar design, and you guys get that, and I believe this also on a T2, I'll get into that later if it is, but there's two colorways, there's a black colorway and a blue colorway and again this item will be more expensive it is a work jacket and again I'm not necessarily a fan I like things that are more vibrant and like sort of you know just crazy but this one it's not sort of my theme but again this one was probably I think more positively upvoted compared to a lot of these items so you know this is a decision that people would cop over a lot of these items but I'm not going to cop this item I'm definitely going to drop this one doesn't mean it's a bad item though I feel like a lot of these items have potential but I feel like this is going to be a very slept on collaboration for sure in my opinion but let's move on okay so next we do have the Supreme puffy jacket and the thing about this jacket right here is that it has removable sleeves now basically it can be a jacket or a vest and you can just remove the sleeves either way so it's like a two-in-one item now I do like this concept because it gives it more with like towards like the consumer and people like you're getting more for what you pay for and I think it's a good thing and again it has the exact same design as the tape scene parka you see that undercover theme with the guy that's like on the planet and they also see you know public enemy fear of a black planet all that stuff it's the same design as the tape scene parka just basically put on a smaller item and you know again I feel like this is a good item sort of cool but I do have to say I feel like the removable sort of sleeves is a bit whack let's be honest like people aren't sort of used to that stuff um you know it may look like tacky I guess or whatever people want to call it again I don't know how people would necessarily style this item but again I'm not I'm not a fan of this item but again it doesn't mean it's not good I'm gonna say that because if it just because I don't like it again my opinion isn't like the whole overruling supreme power if that makes sense you know I, I don't control supreme I'm just like if I say no to the item it doesn't mean it's bad it just means I don't like it so an item like this I'm not going to cop it. It's again, that sort of same undercover, same design, just a different item. And I'm going to drop this one. 
Okay, so the next item is just a Supreme Fear of a Black Planet sweater. Now, as you guys can see, it just says Fear of a Black Planet, that Public Enemy uh, album mixtape. Just put all over a sweater. Now, again, I'm not necessarily, like, a huge fan of this, because, again, the same thing as, like, the NBA collaboration last week. Anybody can sort of, like, scatter stuff. But I feel like this one looks a lot better than the NBA one, because it's just sort of, like, the same theme going down, and it's sort of a basic item. And I like items that, so, the items sort of odd with my style. I can like items that are very vibrant and crazy, and items are very simple, like this one. And I'm actually a fan of this one. I feel like it's going to do well, especially since I feel like it may be on the cheaper side compared to the last few items I've actually showed you because we haven't gotten into tees yet. So this item would be a cop for me. Resale, again, I'm going to go into that on Wednesday, not today. So you guys can see that video soon. But with that being said, this whole undercover public enemy Supreme Cloud, I feel like it's cool. Going to be slept on. I feel like this is a good item. Next up, we do have the Supreme Rayon shirt. Now, this is a sick item. I'm gonna be honest, this Supreme Undercover Public Enemy, this is a sick item. It basically, there's three colorways, a white one, red one, and green one, and it just has like all over it. It just has an undercover death symbol, just going all the way down it and just around it. And again, my main thing is I don't necessarily like when brands sort of scatter the logo over random pieces and call it something. I don't like that necessarily, unless they do a good job with it, and I feel like this is a very nicely done. Now, I do like the Rayon shirt. However, I'm gonna move into the next item pretty much when I'm doing this. I don't know if there's a resale. They also made some, uh, not, they made some skate pants for these. So not sweatpants, skate pants specifically. And you know, it's three colors again, white, red, the same colors. And I don't feel like the skate pants look as good as the rayon shirts. That's just my opinion. I mean, I'm not necessarily a huge pants guy. I mean, I don't know. I can sort of style whatever I want sometimes, but you know, this item I'm not a fan of. I'm not going to cop this one and nor do I think, I don't know about reselling these. I feel like the rayon shirt may, but I don't know if the skate pant will at all, but it doesn't mean it's a bad item again. And you guys cop what you like, that's the main thing. I feel like this is a good item, but I'm not going to buy it. Okay, so next up, we do have the work pants with the woven patch. Now, again, this is matching the work jacket, of course. And it just has that little patch right there on the side. And the patch is the same design that was on the work uh, jacket. It's the same design, basically just smaller and put in the same colorway pants. Navy, black, this is not going to resale, so I don't need to discuss them for that long at all. And I'm not going to cop these. But next up, right after that, we do have the Supreme sweatpants. Now, again, this is that whole same design. Just put on some sweatpants. I feel like this is actually really cool. I like it. Um, and, you know, it just still has all the same things on it. Again, it's that same theme as you guys do notice that and recognize that. And I believe there's only one pair. And the photo I'm looking at, there's two pairs. But, again, I feel I feel like there's only one. And then at the bottom, you know, has that whole, like, supremacy thing, the album, all that stuff. It's, the, again, that exact same design put on different stuff. So I feel like these sweatpants are cool. Again, these sweatpants got bad right. Ratings. I don't know really why I like this again a lot of people are sort of like not a fan of this collaboration I am I'm gonna cop this I feel like I, I want these sweatpants sort of but I feel like I'd have to match it with the hoodie Which is the next item right here and again this is actually the hoodie's pretty sick um, When I saw this I've liked it since I feel like the sweatpants a hoodie that sort of thing together would be like a sort of like a special one Like a cool outfit, but you couldn't wear it too much because you know It's pretty flashy to be honest and you know I'm a fan of the hoodie you know public enemy and again all that sort of same stuff except the difference is is that it's like stacked right here and then the back of just a fear of a black planet alone with the undercover symbol and then it just has like the you know regular text like undercover supreme public enemy uh stuff like that and you know i feel like the hoodie's really cool i'm definitely gonna buy the hoodie and you know i'm it's not again none of this is really for resale in my opinion it's just more or less a good collection to have and that's why i'm buying it Okay, so this next item, it is the Terror Dome hooded sweatshirt. Now, on the front, it just basically has nothing, just like Undercover Supreme. But on the back, it's that sort of same theme, you know, Terror Dome, Public Enemy, all that sort of stuff. And I don't know why I called it funny. I just, I'm sort of tired right now. And, you know, I'm trying to have as much energy as I can in this video. I'm trying to put everything I can. But with this item, two colorways, black, white. And then on the back, it just, you know, has like the other kind of symbol. And then right under it, it just has Public Enemy. And then it has like all the stuff like you can, Supreme, Undercover, Public Enemy, sort of listed out in like a small font. I'm not sure about this item because, again, Undercover cover and has done so many things like this with Supreme like this has had literally been an exact design on so many pieces that I don't know they're just it's a really big collection and when I notice big collections few items really resale well I mean items resale but it just depends on how well they resale and I don't know about this one I would sort of drop it for resale but I may cop it to wear I'm not sure it just seems like they're sort of remaking their like 06 07 pieces which I don't know if I really need that so I'm probably gonna drop this item but it doesn't mean it's bad next up we do have the supreme undercover crew neck sweatshirt now on this one and just as the front public enemy um because you know they're still part of this whole collaboration so just as public enemy and on the side it just as undercover patch right here two colorways 
turquoise, black, and white. And then on the back, it just has a sort of, again, that blow your mind thing with the undercover symbol right there and the lady, as you guys can see. And again, it's just the same two colorways. I don't need to really explain that again. On this item, though, I don't know about crew necks. I feel like these are cool. But again, this collection is so large that it's going to be singled out in a few items. And I haven't seen ratings on this one. I actually haven't done much research on this item alone. More or less focusing on, like, the sort of space theme items and maybe the rug, which I'll discuss later. But this one, I don't know. I'm not going to copy it. I'm simply just going to drop because I don't like it. But with that being said... I'm just not gonna buy this one. Now, if you guys are looking for a sort of, I guess, I don't know how expensive this long sleeve tee is gonna be, but it, we do have four colorways in it, and basically on the front, it just, I believe, has like the undercover, like, again, that whole sort of space theme, except it's encapsulated on sort of like a square, I don't know what it is, I don't remember the shape, it's like a rectangle or a square or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's just a square, and it has like all the undercover supreme listed down below on it. Now, with this item, I feel like it is cool, and I like it, but I don't know, again, a lot of people are gonna be going for the cheaper items i feel like in this tee the hoodies all that stuff like that this one is a good one and then on the back it just is i'll read it out because i can now see it the counter attack on world supremacy so again there you go that's undercover right there that's pretty simple or at least i'm pretty sure it's uh, undercover again i'm not sure the whole like i know public enemy just has like the fear of the black planet thing in this collaboration but i don't know if that's their quote or undercover i'd assume it'd be undercover from what i've seen i can just assume that but this item i don't know four colorways you guys can see in black red blue and white and i feel like i don't know the best one in my opinion is definitely black that's my thoughts but i'm not gonna buy this one and i'm just gonna leave it alone now this next item is highly anticipated the most upvoted the most hype the best item of this collaboration i'm not sure if it's my best i like it I, i'd put it up there it may be my best i'm still sort of deciding in this point but this has been the most possibly uploaded voted item according to the community is the white house tea now basically on the front it just has a guy standing in front of the white house on the fence and you know it just has that right there the whole symbol and he's just basically standing in front of the white house right there and there's four colorways there's white blue red and black and that's sort of cool and then on the back it just again has like fear of a black planet public enemy counterattack and world supremacy symbol and then undercover supreme and again i feel like they really decorated the black nicely and again they showed it for the white colorway like i'll show it right here like this looks pretty sick i'm gonna be honest and i'm definitely gonna cop the white colorway because that just looks the best to me uh, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy that item in a white colorway because it's my favorite and I'm definitely gonna cop this because it's just so sick and resale This one's gonna do well um, Undercover Supreme may resale for a lot may resale for a little but it's gonna do well as a tee and probably the best tee out of like I feel like all of all of spring summer 18 so far I like this tee the most so I'm probably gonna cop it now next up again the Terra Dome tees that again There's four exact same colorways black red blue and white I'm not gonna cop these tees again as I said with the hoodies. I'm not too interested. I'm not interested in these either which is just, again, the same thing as they did in 06, 07. So I'm not going to copy it. I'm just going to drop these. Not much discussion on them. Okay, so the next one I really don't want to discuss, but I will because, again, I'm giving a full review of this whole collection. It's just, like again, that sort of same theme right here. It's just a public enemy tee. It has public enemy on the front, black, red, and white, and then the back it says blow your mind on it. And with all, like, the, the same public enemy stuff, same blow your mind thing, I'm not going to cop these because I'm not necessarily interested. So I'm going to leave them alone, and I'm not going to buy them because I'm just not interested in them. And, again, I'm just going over this for the sake of going over the whole collection. And I'm not a fan of this item right here. Okay, so next up we do have Supreme Uncover, Doc Martin, and Public Enemy. A lot of people on this is true. Now this is just Doc Martin again. And it just basically, it's just a whole undercover theme. And again, I feel like Doc Martens, I don't necessarily like them. And I love the space theme, but I don't like the Doc Martens. And these resale, I don't know, they'll sell out for sure. But I'm just gonna drop these items and I'm not gonna go into too much depth on this one because I'm just gonna drop it. That's my simple opinion. Leave it alone, not copying this. Now next up, we do have the medallion uh I guess the pouch is what they called it. So it's a medallion pouch. And it's basically like a little like pouch and it has like a zipper on the back. And it's just like Supreme right on the zipper, like the little red box logo right there. And it just has, you know, the undercover little uh, symbol right there on the front. And there's uh, just again, one theme, just one colorway white and then a black symbol right there on the front. And these pouches are sort of cool. I haven't seen this done before. So I sort of like it, but again, I don't know about this. Like people are sort of excited for it because it's going to be one of the cheaper items. But again, it's sort of overshadowed by a lot. And this whole collection slept on in my opinion, but I'm not going to buy this because I don't need a pouch. I don't need more accessories as of right now. So I'm going to leave it be. Now the next item is the 14k gold pendant undercover supreme pu just public enemy and sort of thing. And it just has again the symbol in gold right in the front and the back it has all the stuff sort of engraved on the back. And I think that is cool. And I don't know how expensive this will be. I feel like it may be more high up there but I'm not going to buy it because uh, I don't need a gold pendant from supreme. There's not a point to me in buying one. So I'm going to leave it be not copying but doesn't mean it's a bad item again but okay never mind this item's not good i'm gonna be honest here i just i don't feel like it's necessary so i'm gonna leave it be and finally we do have the fear of a black planet 
rug. Now, I feel like the rug's completely whack. I'm sorry to all the hypebeasts that were super excited about this. It's it's an off sort of center rug. Like, I want a rug. Again, I'm gonna keep buying my rugs from Ikea. That I'm cool with that. Atari, uh, Ikea, wherever I get rugs, I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm not gonna buy a Fear of a Black Planet rug. Because, firstly, for the sake of it, it's off shape. Like, a rug should be like a square or a circle or an oval or something like that. And I don't feel like a rug should be like the symbol of that. Like, it's cool. I like the concept, but I feel like the shape is a bit odd. And I don't, I don't know. Again, like, I don't have space to put this in my room, so I'm not gonna buy it. But again, I don't know how much a rug really resells so for the sake of resale no but for, for it's sort of cool i like it you know if you're a black planet i feel like that's a really cool concept that he made into a rug but i don't know it just it just seems sort of whack to me and i'm not gonna buy it if you like it i'm sorry i'm gonna bash your opinion here i don't like it and we have conflicting opinions there so i'm not gonna cop the rug i don't like it that's pretty much it Anyways, though, thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate you guys watching it, as you guys do almost every single day when I post, and I really do appreciate that. If you guys want to, subscribe. You can like the video, do any of that. You know, be right here, whatever. You guys can do that. I'd appreciate it. And you guys can also, you know, again, I do a lot of content like this. If you enjoy that, go ahead and do what I just told you if you want. It's completely optional. I'm not forcing you. But let me know down below what you guys think. What's your favorite item? What is your least favorite item? What do you think is whack about this collection? Why are you sleeping on it? Whatever it is, you guys can let me know down below what you think about this Undercover Supreme Collection. And you guys can let me know if you disagree on certain things or whatever. It's completely cool. I'd love to have a discussion down below. But with that being said, thank y'all for watching this video. And peace out.